Yes, so in this video again we are discussing one new mini project application. It is kind of a POC which we we can say like interview room when we are preparing for the interview some companies ask us to complete an assignment or machine test is there. So this is kind of a that mini project. So let me just go to the first slide. You can say the application name is Mila. It's a web application. Let's say we can develop that in the jQuery, Angular, React using bootstrap css and html okay so the basic things are the application should load the structure and content dynamically using json file okay so we don't have to integrate the apis we just have to read the json file then second point application will display the list of courses assigned to the particular user along with the details such as start date end date and description and rating okay this is second point on clicking of that course user will go to the next page where course activities will be visible means for one course i will have five activities for one course i will have just two activities okay so it might be smaller parts of that videos anything it can be right so and they have specified the layout also like in mobile how it should look in laptop how it should look in tablet mode how it should look okay so let's see the ui this is the login page we should have there should be a logo username password login button and the footer one then once user logged in we have this mobile view so we should show course like this like course name start date description and end and start once we click on the start it will go to the activity page here we will show all the activities related to this particular course okay so this is an app mobile view this is a tablet view in tablet uh, only two courses are visible and again activity is one only let's go to the laptop view so this is the desktop view in desktop again courses are two only but activity is now two okay and lastly on click of this uh, let's say we want to show the logged in user also so on the hamburger icon we have to show this small pop-up where username and user email will be shown and the logout button will be there okay so i have already completed this in this video i am just going through overall structure what we have did and what our flow should be okay so as you can see this is a tablet mode let's just compare first our laptop mode so i have just made a one configuration change like in desktop mode they have said like two but i have taken it three so that we can identify like this is a laptop and this is a tablet mode okay let me log out so you can see this pop-up has also come user one three on click of login okay so you can see all these courses are there now these courses are, courses are coming from a json file so in asset folder i have file courses so all these courses you can see are coming from here okay i will explain you code in the coming videos if i click on the start it should go to the activities of this particular course okay so if you can see this is the first course let's find the course id is one okay so let's see the activities where course id is equal to one so see i have four activities that for that particular course so once i click on the start so you can see four parts i can see again some expired and things are there like if date is already gone so i will show the expired if i have already watched it then i will show it completed if i haven't watched it the start button will be there let's open the second one so here you can say expired all are expired let's see another one yeah so this is not started so you can see start button once i click on the start button you can see it is marked as completed okay so let's go back now this is the desktop view let's change to the mobile view i have selected samsung galaxy s8 and changing to the mobile view so you can see in the mobile view only one course is visible okay if i click on the start we get one by one part in a row okay now let's go back and change to the tablet mode so in the tablet mode you can see only two courses are visible in a row and if i click over here only one because they have provided like 
in tablet mode only one activity should be there okay so this is the project idea like things i have told you like we will have courses assigned to that particular user once user clicked on that particular start button on that course it will navigate to the activity page where all the activities related to that course will be present okay let's see the coding part now so these are the json files i have first one json is the courses so here you can see i have user id also then the description like course id course name description start date and end date okay now this course id is present in course activity okay here we have activity type let's say it is a video it is a pdf material as a web page it can be anything then it has a its own primary key also then activity name and the description itself then we need to store something like which user has uh, what we can say watched all the activities or not so for that again we have a special json user course activity here i have activity id and the user id means this user has completed this activity this user has completed this activity like this okay then we have user array where we will store all our users data now this user id is present in my course also okay so that's it this course json was something empty because we need to we need one vpi once we click on the uh, start button for that i have created this json okay so this is about json then folders so in core folder i have constant i have not, I have not actually used this model i have created like all the properties we have in the courses activity and everything so you can see course model let me show you the course json again so you can see these are the properties we have in course same these fields are present in my model also so since it is a class so i have to initialize it also with the constructor okay so these are all models are here only the next thing i have created once a guard just to authenticate the user and second is one local service so now we have to read the so now we have to read the local json file which is in my asset folder we can read those file using http client only like we used to do with the api call okay now the difference only will be you can see load assigned course http gate response type object model we just have to provide the path of that json it path will be from asset then my folder then my particular json file okay code you can see like because in courses i have all the courses i don't have a particular file where i have the all the courses assigned to that particular user okay but everything is here only so i just need to filter it out so for that load assigned courses i have one parameter getting user id logged in user id i will get first i will read everything what i have in json then i am using map to filter out the data so you can see result.data filter then item.user id is equal to whatever the user id i get and then i am returning the courses that's it now this function i am calling in my home component so you can see load courses i am passing the user id logged in user id and i am getting the all courses and this all courses again i am using in my html for the for loop that is just the basic things what we do okay so same for loop is there this is the normal html code i have used the bootstrap card only some paragraphs and divs okay one important thing is here you can see we can do the ratings also okay so some pre-existing ratings are also coming like for this one only rating two only ratings are there three and five so for this i have created one more component that is under shared folder star rating component so this is that stars what we are coming getting from it is again from the font or some okay so here you can see on click of it i just keep on adding the field stars logic is pretty simple inputs are max like what is the max limit i have then once i click i need to hit some api like if it is a real api so on click of changing the ratings i need to hit the api for that particular course then we have rate count like what is the actual rate we have for that particular course okay and this is the logic to implement that 
then we have seen home component so in home component we have start button so like on click of start what we do we just navigate it to the activity for activity path okay now, now this function is already present in my service again inside that i am using router.navigate url and param because you can see the route for activity we have course id as a parameter now let's see this in the browser now our activity route is home once i click on the start you can see activity slash particular course id is there so that's why we have to navigate with course id so that is here navigate with param activity and we are sending the course okay so once we send that it will come to the activity now we have to read that parameter also so in constructor we have read that using activated route dot param dot subscribe so in param we got the course id then we need to call all the activities of that courses so for activities we have a different json file here you can see we have all the activities for all the courses now we need to fetch data of that particular course id so for that we have load courses function inside that we are calling okay so here you can see once we go to the activity page we have let me show you the network call one click of start you can see three api calls are there first courses because we need the details of this particular course because we need to show that course name over here this is first then course activity to render all these records then third like which courses or which activities this user has completed so that's why we have to make three api call so we have used fork gen to group all the api call and we get a single subscribe for all those so you can see for get courses by id we get result in first array we will get all activities in second and user activity in third array we have got okay now this all activities again we are using on the for loop that's it okay so this is just the whole code what you can see login page is pretty simple again i have used the bootstrap only so you can see navbar is there in the section i have designed our normal two input fields are there but uh, username and password and footer is there that's it okay routing file i have already shown you empty path which will navigate to the login login component path then once login is done we have a secondary home uh, home component means layout component will be my parent component so in layout component we actually have this navbar once we do the login you can see this nav navbar is in the layout component and inside that navbar layout component we have the router outlet, router outlet which is responsible to load this activated component home and the activity okay and one more thing like on click of this hamburger icon we get to see this pop-up now this pop-up is present over here so you can see show pop-up variable we have used and this is a simple div and we are hiding and showing and for profile we have just simply use some normal css position absolute top and the right position and z index to make it on the front these are the small css we have written okay so this is just my complete small poc based on the learning app okay so in coming videos i will be taking care from all the basic code from scratch i will create the new application and implement everything this here the, then you will be able to understand all the codes how we have written and how we have achieved this okay so thank you please stay tuned do subscribe and do like the videos thank you